this is where we're helping them. You know? So when you say help, I mean, is that a, uh, a value add service that you sell to them or is it, is it just you're giving Insta free? No, we're giving them knowledge because we've done this before for other people, right? Okay. So how do, you, how, do we, how do we help you replicate the success you had in your launch market and any other market that you want to go to? How do you scale your business to, be a, to provide a true global solution? And you know, now that we've been acquired by Cisco, you know, we were very focused on just our platform and the, the connectivity management, the monetization of, of your services aspect. But Cisco has an incredible portfolio. So we're, we're just announcing our first security product for automotive. Um, we're, we're on the verge of announcing a new um, service monetization program for okay. automotive. Um, there's teams within Cisco that are working with OEMs on entirely new vehicle architectures, replacing the CAN with, with the wireless network, um, and being able to you know, move forward with, with a model where each component is updatable instead of just being confined to that IVI screen, the entertainment stuff. So can you talk a little bit about the, 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 your platform and, and what it does? So the platform allows you, if you're, if you're a product company, right, you're very focused on building and developing and selling products. But what we're seeing in the, the new IoT ecosystem is products aren't that um, important to consumers anymore. It's the services that the product delivers, right? If you look at Nest or if you look at Amazon Echo or if you look at kind of the original, the Kindle, Right. right. It wasn't about the hardware, it was about the service that you were getting from the hardware. And this has transitioned into being a key strategic uh, initiative for the automotive companies. Especially with this transition from, you know, I'm going to sell every vehicle to a single person to I'm going to sell vehicles to a service provider and that service provider is going to allow a person to use that vehicle as a service. Right. So the service aspect, the aspect of, of, of actually interfacing with the customer versus the vehicle and providing that very, very customized experience to that end user is becoming a big strategic initiative for these companies. And our platform helps them do that, not only in one, in one area, but we have 52 M&O partners globally. So it's very easy, you know, you have a very high reutilization factor when you move from region A to region B to region C. So is that, is that an issue in terms of, you know, if you're a global manufacturer and you're putting cars all over the world, I mean, does, does the fact that you, know, you have that, you know, 52 mobile operators, mm -hmm. is that an advantage or is it? It's a huge advantage. So we have, uh, we're doing business with 28 OEMs globally. Um, and uh, we have about, uh, it's just over 16 million cars on the platform. And that's, that's basically doubled year over year for the last three years. And uh, by the end of, uh, by the middle of next year, we should be putting over a million cars on the platform per month. Wow. Yeah.